Hello, Truth Seekers. I hope you had a beautiful Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and it is starting the Christmas season. Yes, us Catholics begin the Christmas season on Christmas Eve at midnight, and it goes on and on. So this is the 12 days of Christmas that we're spending, and I was listening to the readings. It's Sunday thinking about the Holy Family, thinking about Abraham and Sarah, and just like, wow, this is what it's all about. Now, of course, they were waiting for the Messiah in the Old Testament, but we have Jesus. And if we thought about the Holy Family, and we brought Christ more into our own lives, I'm talking to everyone. I know that there are religious people and priests who watch this. There are people who are married and who are single. Whatever your vocation is in life, you still have family that you can impact around you. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. So how often do you bring Jesus into your day? Are you thanking the Lord for your food, for your family? Like the other day, I was coming downstairs. It was, oh, it was so cold here. I think it was like 20 degrees. And I said, Jesus, thank you so much for the heat, for this house, for the warmth, for my slippers, for my cozy sweatshirts and sweatpants. And that's all you really have to do to bring Jesus into your life. I was thinking back, boy, I really should have brought more of Jesus in on Christmas. Maybe read some Bible verses or chatted a little bit about what we thought about Christmas with the family, but I didn't. But that's okay. There's another day to bring Jesus into our lives more. And I was hearing my priest at the homily today say, think about it. If you brought Jesus into your life more, think about how much more loving you would be. Think about how much more grateful you would be. Think about how you would look at mass and, and going and celebrating and worshiping with the priest and your parishioners. Think about how your family might look at mass differently with a better disposition to receive the Lord and Holy Communion. Think about how you bring love to the world and what a better place the world would be if we just brought Jesus into our lives a little bit more. Now, I have a family that's not into him like I am, but they're into how he works through me, lives through me, loves through me, is patient and kind and generous through me. That's not me. And it all stems from a prayerful relationship with God. And this is what I hope for all of you because when you start in prayer every single day, you are focusing on Jesus internally, your own inner relationship with him. And then you're wrapped in Jesus. You are wrapped in God when you go see the rest of your family, when you see the people that you work with, when you see the people in your neighborhood, when you're out and about running errands, you are bringing Jesus to the world. Now that is what it's all about, bringing love of Christ to your brothers and sisters. And you must have a prayer life. So I'm going to say, look, it is time. It's a brand new year. We are in the Christmas season. Why don't you start? Start small. Start 15 minutes a day. I have a prayer course. It's a video prayer course. It is in the link in the description, sorry, the link is in the description of the YouTube video and in the email. And then if you are already practicing like a regular prayer life and you're trying to get more into mental prayer, then maybe you can join me on January 24th. It is an online conference. It starts at 9.30 and it ends at 2.30 Mountain Time. It's actually being hosted virtually but if you're not available to do it that day, who cares? It's okay. You'll get the link. 
You just won't be there live to have you know questions and answers with me, but you can do it at the privacy and the time that works best in your own home, in your jammies if you want. It'd be great if you were there because we do have live Q&A. And that link is also in the description of the YouTube video and in the email. All you got to do is register. And then if you don't make it that day, it doesn't matter. You can watch it at any time that makes sense or rewatch it. So we're going to talk about finding joy in prayer. What is prayer? What's mental prayer? Why we are supposed to be praying mental prayer every single day? Why prayer is so important. It's the foundation of your spiritual life. All of the fruits and the gifts come through prayer. You're going to have that patience and that kindness and that peace and that love and that joy if you're spending time with God in prayer. I promise you. It's the beautiful consolations and they are really, that's what flows through us. Those graces come through a prayerful, faithful life. So I hope that you join me. And um, again, the link is in the description. There's a couple of other online events that I'm doing as well that you can join me at. And I just want to say that I love you all so much. And I hope that you are bringing Jesus into your family. Your brothers and sisters in Christ, if you're not uh, married and you're single or you're religious or you're a priest or some other clergy level, a deacon, at the end of the day, our family is each other, and we're called to love one another. And we can't do it the best way, <laughs> but he wants us to do it without Jesus in our lives. Okay, speaking of which, I'm going to go spend some time with my husband, and I just want to tell you all that I want you to have the most awesome Christmas season. Start reflecting back on 2020 and really make a commitment to deepen your prayer life, which will mean your relationship with God. So you can walk with him every moment and be love to the world. I love you all. Have a blessed and inspired week. Talk to you soon. Take care.